Live coverage, Labour Arena, Leighton Hewitt and Robin Vick. Hewitt from Australia, of course. Vick from Czech Republic. Two games to one and two sets to one. And Vick serving here on the fourth. Tell you, Patrick, he just, uh, there's no fear factor there. I mean, there's no panic in, in Vic's game that's evident at this point because he keeps coming in. It's not that easy to come to the net against Leighton Hewitt, but uh, he comes up with a volley like that on the last point and looks like he's really in control, 15 love. He's been up to net 42 times today. He's won 26 of those points. So not a great percentage of 62 percent, but he keeps mixing it up. Yeah, exactly. That's the point that he's keeping Hewitt on sort of off guard throughout this match, throwing in drop shots, ripping some ground strokes, serving and volleying a little bit. 30-15. Vic making his Australian Open main draw debut. He played qualifying in 2001, but he lost his first round. And he played in two Grand Slam tournaments both last year. one of the speediest players on tour at 30 all off of a very good return down low and he's he's pulled this off a couple of times game point for three one Leicester's uh, in control now up a set and a break Oh boy, that's that's really a sign of the lack of confidence of Hewitt when they just rolled in the serve there, and he just hit it long. That, that serve had about 78, 80 miles per hour. Thank you. Nick Cartwright is Lakin Hewitt's wife, mother of. A child born just a few months ago. There it is again, the two hander. Thirteenth backhand winner. He also has thirteen forehand winners, does Vic. faults in this match. So it's been shaky for him. 15 all. Close oh. is in front in the second now with a break. this angle. Oh. 
Wow. Break points for an insurance break for Vic in the fourth set. He leads 3-1. That was the 43rd unforced error for Leighton Hewitt. player so many times I mean this is the kind of time here whether you wonder whether Vic can hold on to the form that he's shown here the last couple of sets or whether he was going to get to him because he's not going to well fold her. is the number three seed in this championship, the third best player in the world, Leighton Hewitt, two-time Grand Slam champion, and obviously a huge favorite down under. Oh. With another unforced error. It's amazing that uh, he just can't put a good string together. A couple of points to get him out of trouble, good first serve. Rhythm for Leighton Hewitt, 44 unforced errors. I remember when last the, 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 the quality of play was here was better in the beginning. Yeah. Oh, another unforced error from Hewitt. I mean, we saw that as a great opportunity. So many dynamics here. They don't even want to watch this. They say, oh, no. Tell me it ain't so. As Vic has got his third chance to break in this game. William going out yesterday was a huge story even here in Australia but nothing will come close to a Hewitt exit if it happens break point again Got to get out of this game, Leighton Hewitt. Well, Vic's had three chances in this game. Now Hewitt at game point. down to break and down two sets to one and there have been some emotional moments in these 
four sets of tennis on centre court down under. You've uh, Fox and Gardens actually, Melbourne is known as, and Garden Square here at Melbourne Park as they're watching what is happening here on centre court. Called Rod Laver Arena, and uh, it's Leighton Hewitt who is in trouble. Vic serving up 3 2 and up two sets to one against number three C. That's just unheard of for Hewitt. You can see the frustration there. It's almost like he's just unsure of himself. Even when he's getting pumped up and ticked off, he's, he's not really definitive about anything. Kleister's rolling now up a set and three love. really authoritative about anything Hewitt's doing in this match, even complaining to the umpire. I mean, usually he gets really ticked off or trying to get the crowd into it. That's uh, the sixth double fault for Vic in the match. Coach David Prinisell, former tour player from Germany, who's been working with Robin Vick for about two years. And he steers that one long. You'd think that Vick would serve that into the uh, shady part. As Mom Sherlin gives her son a hand. There you are. Big points now. Vick showing. Maybe a little bit of nerves here. He's had a couple of pretty easy balls that he's hit long. And now a chance for Leighton Hewitt to break back and get back on serve in the fourth set. Remember in Vic, this is a guy who spent pretty much all of last year playing in the minor leagues at the challenger and future level. Very little experience on this type of stage. Oh. Hewitt usually so good at getting the returns in play and particularly on the big points. That is an eye dropper, right? but more so it's because of the stage of the match. What's at stake here? Well, still, P Mac, this look at this. This passing shot is not exactly hit delicately. He he really mangled that thing, and then he comes up with the softening of the wrist at exact. That is a tough shot to play. sort of turns the tables on him in that point until the final moment when he's got to pull the trigger and makes the error. You're watching live coverage of the Australian Open. This is the first round of men's singles here. Leighton Hewitt, finalist uh, last year, losing effort to Matt Sappen, but he's Australia's favorite son. He's number three seed this year, and he is in serious trouble. Down two sets to one, now down 4-2 after he had a break chance in that game on Vic Sur. And the unforced errors just continue to flow. That's 49 now, 13 in this set. Oh. Yep. Missing badly on that first serve. Ooh, that was sitting right up for Vic there. You have to start to wonder, Cliff. I mean, you know, Leighton Hewitt, all this brouhaha about the magazine and the pictures and the baby and million-dollar deal and all this craziness that's going on with him here in Australia. I mean, I just sense that he's just real flat out there. The energy's not there. He seems distracted. It's the intensity doesn't seem to be there. 
maybe maybe that's just because he he's not confident you know, he's not hasn't played a lot of tennis has struggled this year certainly not the same Leighton Hewitt intensity wise we saw here last year when the, the come ons were frequent one of the big swings there but it's Vic to serve it for three when we come back Hilton again part of our coverage here and we thank them for being a sponsor of the tournament summary champion Mary Pierce in 95 uh, an easy win today she's really playing good tennis those are not just words Jamea Jackson Kevin Kim Paul Goldstein all of the USA in the second round and Frenchman lost a couple of French hopes in Gasquet and Morphy really their two best hopes and the youngster is going out pretty meekly so did Andy Murray the Scotsman Coming down to Juan Ignacio Chela. Serving from the sun into the shadows now. Like 15. This is where Hewitt to try to get get himself going get the crowd behind him clusters rolling five zip in the second Questionable now, strolling with not quite the same authority, and Leighton Hewitt looking more spry. Love 30. Oh, and Hewitt probably could have let that drop a little bit more, and he would have been able to go around the net post there. Instead, he tried to look like he actually tried to hit it over. Watch this, if he had let this drop a little bit more, well, maybe not. It didn't look like he was going to be able to get it around it. long break points for Hewitt first set to Hewitt although it was uh, it was a battle broke three times in that first set after he was broken in the early stages but then Vic came back wins the second set 6-2 so in front in the third eventually wins it Vic does 7-5 so that's where we're at break points now for Hewitt to level in the fourth instinct just took over there sensing how close he is to being out of this tournament in the opening round he's digging his heels in now knowing how much pressure Robin Vick must be feeling at this point because he hasn't been close to anything this important in his life. Love 15.
Clusters wins easily. Three and love in the second set. the last couple of games, but maybe he, he realized, hey, I better just step in and keep ripping. It was a beautifully timed return. Oh, big serve from Hewitt. Pretty old. Ten mile an hour serve. He oh. got it, boy. That was how close was that? Vic had a look at that overhead, but he threw it back into Hewitt's arms. Boy, he not only the overhead, but the volley as well. Before that, he could have put away. Hewitt takes advantage. Game point. Yeah. What a difference a few minutes makes. Five for Hewitt now. has taken a very different complexion. Patrick, it was just a, it wasn't that long ago that there was that Leighton Hewitt was in danger of an insurance going down an insurance break. Now we're back on serve. Hewitt's in front five games to four. And again, Robin Vick, you know, has got to be feeling the pressure. Yeah, that, that changeover seemed like uh, 180 seconds to him in the 90. He had a lot of time to think about last few minutes Let's see how he handles it here shot that's been working so well for Vic today and just catching the tape this time that's 16 unforced errors in this fourth set Point, use some slice, 
The ball sitting up high enough before he makes contact. Right just below the shoulders. That's where you can really flatten that ball out up the line. for Vic to even this four set. Five games apiece. Oh, oh. Missed it. Two points from the set for Hewitt. That deuce. upset at this first Grand Slam of the year in his home country of Australia. Down two sets to one. Good return from Hewitt, gets it down low. And so many options there. Takes the top spin lob, I think bring it back to Deuce. Hey, he has opened up the court so well with that two-hander down the line. Time and time again, it's just, it's really something. Another look. Game point. Hewitt in many ways, Cliff, is, even though he's scrapping and he's fighting and he may find, figure out a way to, to, to win this set and, and win the match, he's not really taking it to Vic. You know, he had a chance in that point to really, to attack with the backhand. He just sort of pushed it back. That one down the line, but it's wide by a couple of inches. Game goes to Vic, and it's five apiece. What's we'll set? And again, in that rally, it was Vic that was dictating the play. Can you ask the ball boys for the balls, please? Ask. They are uh, they are glued. To this huge television set outside of Rod Laver Arena behind them, as you can see. And uh, not much enthusiasm for this result no. at the moment. Yeah. Just look at that. This is like, uh, this is the equivalent of Henman's struggles at Wimbledon yep. over the years. Not, not quite as painful for the public because, of course, Henman been close so many times there. Never to the final, but semi-final. Five, six times. Vic's there. And the backhand down the line, and then he reads this one, and the quickness. Gets him there in plenty of time. Feels the pressure, but so does Leighton. Remember, this boy is an Australian. 
playing in front of his home crowd. And if his face is not the most famous sporting face in Australia, then there sure are not many that are more famous. Well, Vic gave that second serve what it deserved. Very, very short serve there and right into the backhand, the stronger side of Vic, certainly on the return. And he just pummeled it. Break points. Double fault gives Vic the break to serve. So an historic tennis moment may be upon us. Vic will serve for the match against Hewitt and Rika Back. The ratings of the final um, last year here, which were beyond huge. In fact, no event since the uh, Summer Olympic Games in Sydney had higher ratings. Well, they were watching Leighton Hewitt with... I mean, the whole country was watching, and let's see, it's 6 o'clock now, so folks are home from work, and believe me, it might not be quite that high, but the ratings are huge, and they are watching their man on the brink of going down. Dean is serving for the match against Leighton Hewitt. Be a pretty impressive first win for Vic in his first match here at the Australian. Last time that Hewitt lost in the first round was to Ivo Karlovich at Wimbledon. Hewitt was a def the holder. again great effort by Vic but yeah, yeah clear was off. break points for Hewitt to get to a tie break here in the fourth set Inside the fourth set. Twenty-four year old Leighton Hewitt. Twice already in his career. He's been number one at the end of the year. Taken on a 25-year-old who has blossomed only in the last year. In fact, he had the second highest jump of any player in the top hundred. He was at 362 and ended up the year last year at number 62. Tie break for the set. It's inexplicable. I mean, if you would play such a good game, to break at love and the first ball of the rally in the tie break, he makes the unforced error. And 
He's done that a lot in this match. Missed that first shot. surface anyway of the singles court is now totally in the shade it's uh, 6 05 in the evening here on tuesday <laughs> the decisions that these players got to make now are so tough do you go for the you go for it or do you to try to get the ball in place so that with the tension of the moment your opponent then it's really a question that they both have to answer every time they swing two one Vic on serve shot from here because the pressure is really on him in this point again the backhand down the line set it up for Vic with that forehand approach but he would have had enough time there to comfortably hit that cross court 3-2 for Vic to one taking on late Hewitt from Australia playing Rod Laver Arena and this would be by far the biggest upset of this championship number three seed is on the brink he's down two sets to one and it's three all in the tiebreak of the fourth set side of the court that's a great part of this event in the end of the day they're all out there watching their hero Leighton Hewitt two hours and 55 minutes of play up, up a mini break in this tie break now a couple of unforced errors from Vic That will sail. Gee, that's a good point from both of them. 
Unforced errors now uh, disappeared. They are both on the brink. That was, that was really something. Five, three, two points away from the set now. Let's look at this crowd. And it's, what a moment. No. no. Usually it's around that time of day when out there by the big screen in the garden, you know, they got the band playing, but there's no music right now. They're holding off on the entertainment. It's all happening here. Four, five. Double fault. Set points for Hewitt. to imagine now that Leighton Hewitt will go down in the fifth set after that sterling comeback there. Let's go to the studio and Chris Paolo. All right, Cliff, thank you. Look at that scene. That's just behind us.